As promised, here he is, our NHL analyst, Marty Biron, to talk about this dominating win for the Winnipeg Jets. And Tyler Toffoli, Marty, three points. That's back-to-back -back games with multiple points. Uh, he's on the line with Sean Monaghan and Nick Ehlers. I love this line. Why has it been able to work so quickly for these guys? Well, first of all, Tyler Toffoli uh, has been on six teams in the last five years. I don't know why. It must be the demand, right? Because when you have that guy, you usually don't trade him. But he's been able to adjust wherever he's been. Why? Because he has a simple game. He goes to the front of the net, stays there. The big body, hard to move. He's really good on the four check. He's got a great active stick on puck retrieval, creating turnovers. That was one of his goals against Columbus. He's up and down the wing. Very simple. You know where he's going to be. He's always in a good position. But also, I mean, he has chemistry with Sean Monaghan. Monaghan also come in from a different team. So they get together. Like, let's just play an up and down game. And then we have a skilled winger like Nick Ehlers with us. Let's get him the puck. And it's really, really been evident in the last two games. But even from the start of when Tyler Toffoli joined the Winnipeg Jets, you could tell that he was going to be a difference maker. Now, the Jets already had a really solid top six. But with Tyler Toffoli... They don't just have a solid top six. They have a great top six. It doesn't matter who's on the ice in the first two lines. They can definitely score. And Toffoli has been better as a 30-year-old and 31-year-old than he was in his 20s. Now it's going to be, well, it is back-to-back -back seasons of 30 goals or more. He only did that once in his 20s. So he is at his prime right now and will be at his prime for a few more years. And the Jets will benefit from that. Yeah, it's great to see these guys thriving in Winnipeg. And now, Marty, with that win on Sunday... The Jets take over top spot in the Central Division over the Stars and Avalanche via points percentage. So they're in first place. Do you think they can hold on to it? Can they win this division, Marty? Absolutely. 100% they will win the Central Division. They have the top offense. I think they have a sneaky good defense, right? It's not McCarr and Devontae's, but they have a sneaky good defense. They have the best goaltender of all three teams in Connor Hellebuck. And I have said last week, the team that wins the Central Division will go to the Stanley Cup Finals. Why? Because you have to play great teams on your way to winning a cup. But if you can avoid playing the best teams in your conference in the first round, uh, it helps because maybe you save a little energy. Maybe you have, maybe you have more in the tank later in the, in the two months that it takes to go to the Stanley Cup and win it. So if you can avoid Dallas and or Colorado in the first round, we all know that the team that finishes first is going to have a much easier path. By having a wild card team, if you finish second or third, you're going to have to play either Dallas or Colorado, and that is going to be a very hard first round matchup. Uh, I understand that uh, you know the Jets, in my opinion, are the favorite right now because of the point percentage, but I also think that they are uh, my favorite 100. percent They will win the Central, and if they do, they'll be my favorite to represent the Western Conference in the Stanley Cup Finals. I love that bold take from Marty Biron. And guess what? The Jets now an impressive 18-5-4 against the Eastern Conference. That bodes well if they do make it to the Cup, like Marty said. And they've got four straight games coming up against Eastern Conference opponents, too. So things are coming up Winnipeg right now. Marty's going to stick around. Later in the show, we're going to delve into the Eastern and Western Conference wild card races. That's later here on SportsCenter.